Alright, credits to Espada for this uh, request. He just wanted all the dirty stuff. He said nothing basic, huh? So, anything that's, I guess, uh, intermediate or high level flowchart is going to be in this video. Mostly, anyway, anything I can remember. So, I'm going to be looking over some old footage. Uh, not old footage, sorry, some recorded footage that I just made. Some older stuff, uh, some OS's I made day one. Um, and yeah, so let's see. And then after that, I'm going to try and go over some of the neutral that Cody does. And if you call it neutral, uh, let's see. All right, what do we start with? Let's start with the OS's. So, this is the stuff people don't really know, but it's really simple actually. So, uh, OS is right when vSkill 2 came out uh, and it was available to me. I pretty much found this out right away. So, let's see here. I'm using VLC or Ace Player, same thing. Uh, so, anyway, I have my hitbox here. You can see this is the vSkill button. You know, I still have the shit. I don't know why I have the shit on my uh, thing. Let's get rid of that. Anyway, so you see I'm hitting vSkill and then I'm overlapping light kick with vSkill. Hitting both of them at the same time. You can see it right here. See? Light kick V skill, medium punch V skill. Right? Yeah. Boom. So, Cody had a big problem previously to this patch. Um, he couldn't really OS V reversal. And this V skill makes it so that he can pretty much almost always. OSV reversal, right? Um, sure, he doesn't always have an option for backdash, right? But at least he can kind of, he can be more inclined to like this option, you know? And he can actually get a reward for it instead of like second guessing and, you know, really having to make a read on what they're gonna have to do, on, on what they're gonna do. Okay, so you can get a super conversion, you can get Oki, mid screen, you can get a tornado, you can cancel off of. And if they hit their three frame, you can just continue the automatic flowchart string. So it's really, really good OS. And you can use it against most of the casts. Any 17 frame view reversal, you can use it against. You don't want to use it against uh, escape view reversals for very obvious re reasons. They'll just go past you. But yeah. So you can also. Uh, let's post grab. VS2. OS2. You can also use it in other places. You can use it on different buttons, right? Generally on certain normals that have different blocks done, minus frames, recovery, hit stun, etc. Uh, you won't want to use it because it won't make any difference. Like crouch fears, etc. Stand fears. Won't work on heavy kick. Maybe forward heavy kick, but that would be about it. You know, on a hard read. So, but you can use it after stand medium kick. So. If you want a bigger damage conversion on the first hit of wake up, so you do a meaty stand medium kick to catch the three frame, you know you're plus enough to do it, then you would overlap with the OS. You see? So if they hit the three frame, you meaty them. If they hit it on the second button, you frame trap them, and if they view reversal, you sway it. Simple stuff. Doesn't mean moving around because they think I'm hot shit for no reason. And we'll move on. So this is just basic pressure, basic pressure. Where you can use it is you can use it post command grab. And the reason why this is so important is because basically you the only read you had on V reversal uh, prior to the season was just basically command grab. More or less it was a dash into command grab, a walk up into command grab, right? Or like a something whack like a heavy kick into command grab you know um, and then they could always back dash and whatever or they could you know they could three frame you free you know uh, so this is a different option technically it still loses to back dash in the sense that it air resets right but you at least get a lot lot more damage if they actually do view reversal and you can go into command grab if they're sleeping so you see me doing crouch strong Stand strong for counter hit, right? So crouch strong if they three frame counter hits, stand strong. Crouch strong 
Reversal, Sway, Punish. And I go right into Command Grab Mixup again. Plus four, can't, they can't three frame there, right? Uh, they tech, they get grabbed, they block, get grabbed, right? Or if they're waiting to be reversal, grab. So if they do back rise, you still have time for a meaty. Uh, you can always do medium kick ruffian. You could do ex zonk. Uh, you have options. You could do regular zonk. I usually go into regular zonk because um, it's a good rock setup after. Um, but against good players that I don't really want to go against, go back into neutral with, I'll usually go into Oki. You know, so this is a great option to use. Let's see, do I do the meaty here? I don't think I do the meaty. But anyway, let's see, let me find that. I had that shit somewhere. No, no, maybe it's here. Don't look at all my videos, please. Is it here? No, that's me. Hello. Ah, forget it. Anyway, so if the crowd strong hits, it'll hit counter hit, right? It hits counter hit, I am the worst person at YouTube. You hit counter hit, then you do stand strong, you get a whole stun combo. So crouch strong, stand strong, uh, rock hits, crouch fierce zonk, guess for game. Uh, I should probably show activations, right? So these are my favorite activations. These two activations, sweep activation, that's one, which is kind of obvious, you know. But my favorite one, let's see, is stand fierce. The reason why is because you're plus eight right after. And what that means is if you do stand fierce and you activate, right, uh, you're plus eight. So you get a meaty command grab if you manually time it, right, which I do. I walk forward with it, right, and that usually kills just enough frames, kills, and it eats the three frame, and you grab them, right. So uh, you can do that, or you can do crouch fierce. And crouch fierce will actually beat their back dash, too. So no air reset on the back dash, right, beats the three frame, beats the jump. Right, so kind of no guessing there if they're trying to escape. It's a lot of damage if you have super. So I love going for this. Love it. Boom. And sweep is the same frame advantage, so. On activation. Yeah, it's pretty dope. I think I was trying to showcase here that after you exalt, you can do that same mix up. Yeah, then there's. I'm trying to do command grab here, failing so hard. After target combo, you are plus 13. So you can hit stand heavy kick, it'll crush counter back dash. You'll hit a jump. It's a good activation too. When they're minus two, it's a great activation. Command grab. As well. What else do I got? Do I got anything here? I think I do. Oh yeah, so stand medium kick is an activation to go into a neutral. The reason why is because a lot of time you don't have a heavy that will reach that far, right? Uh, unless it's sweep, which is a big commitment. So if you don't want to do that, if you want to toss a button that will beat fireball sometimes, it'll be crush counters. Very hard to crush counter itself, but stand medium kick. And what happens? You can actually get a medium kick ruffian. I don't know how to do training mode stuff. Okay, boom. So it's a really good conversion. Really, really good. You get medium kick rough and you get okay. Okay. And then pretty important, command grab range. So usually, I have this in another video, you can't actually grab people from certain ranges. So you can see, this is normal, this is normal. But right here, ouch because your command grab is actually the same range as your regular throw, right? I should probably turn that off, yeah. See? So it's the same range, but how do you beat, how do you fix that, right? As I said in other videos, Twitter, <coughs> you just walk forward. You do down, sorry, you do forward, down, back, forward, and then kick, whatever kick you choose to do, right? You can watch my hitbox inputs. It's easier on hitbox, but I've done it with stick. I used to do it with stick all the time. Easy to mess up. Really what you want to do is you want to start it as late as possible, right? That way the heavy kick won't come out like that. <laughs> but 
what this shows is you can actually do it after Zonk too. See, that's just me showing you. And then finally, boom. So you can actually do it after EX Zonk. You can do it after Command Grab as well. Yeah. So really, really good stuff. Technically, you could do it after Crouch Light Kick too, which is so strong against top level players because they know that you actually can't throw them when Crouch Light Kick hits. So you do Crouch Light Kick, Kara, well not Kara, but Step Forward Command Grab. I forget what they actually call it. It's not a common name. Um, then you, uh, you'll grab them pretty much for free, a pro level player. Because they'll say, oh, Crouch Light Kick, I'm not getting grabbed, you know? See, so this is such a deadly mix-up paired with the other stuff, right? So originally, you know, people are worried about target combo, and then then they're getting grabbed from far, right? And then if they're thinking about getting grabbed, right, from far, and they're thinking maybe this is bullshit, right? Maybe I can three frame, or they're thinking maybe I can jump out, right? So they're doing one of the two. And if they don't think that's an option, maybe they'll be reversal, and then you can OS. So with these two mix-ups like really minor like low risk mix-ups I would say anyway um, I mean command grab is never low risk but in terms of how many Cody players these guys runs it run into and all they're doing is waiting to jab check the dash or view reversal if you know how to play the matchup then it's pretty much low risk because they're always watching for the dash or they're just gonna view reversal any touch right so basically you're beating the meta. That's the current anti-Cody meta. So at least that's how I would teach people to fight Cody initially. But maybe when Cody start to use this stuff, then that wouldn't work anymore. He'd be viewed as a lot cheaper in that sense with v 2, which he's already viewed as cheap with, right? So yeah, that's the main stuff that Cody players don't use right now. And it's so, so useful against the current meta, right? When I play players that don't know how to fight Cody. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on. Okay, so I showed some of the dirty stuff. I showed the OSs. I never showed the game. The uh, patch has been out for over a month, right? And I never told anybody that because I'm a scumbag. But, you know, Spada said, I'm trying to show someone Cody. I need a little help. Uh, I don't play the character, but I want him to get better. And I said, why not? Why not? You know? Why not? Hopefully Persona Kun and Kisuke, Orphan Crippler, Seth Series, all you guys, Vita, you know, everybody loves it, so, Virgo, anyway, Watcha. So, let's see, uh, before I get into neutral, I'm going to get into, I mean, I shouldn't even call it neutral, you know what I mean? <laughs> before I get into neutral, um, I'm going to get into some, like, bullshit frame traps, right? maybe delay button type stuff right so let's see we got uh let's see what we got okay so basically cody's i'd say pretty much his best buff right more or less probably his best buff is this crouch fierce because normally when you're fighting players that know cody isn't really that threatening from this range right um, and you have great buttons as a top tier character, right? Like Rashid or Akuma or G. You can kind of just throw buttons on block, knowing that I have to one hit hit from you from this range or do a light buffer. Uh, that does go into Oki, but on back rides, I kind of get nothing after one button, right? So um, if I play someone like Oil King or I play someone like Big Bird, they're just going to be hitting their crush counters on block, right? Um, and hitting their like their great pokes, right? And it's leaving me to block and take great damage, and then take risk, and then possibly lose, right? Or more like more than likely lose, right? And you don't. The only button I have to really make them stop, like stop and think twice about what you're doing, is this button right here. It's 15 frames, minus four. Usually not minus four and punishable, right? But extremely, extremely heavy on recovery. Right? Like if this whiffs, someone can dash in and medium me. Right? Just by chance, this kind of thing happens. I don't even use it close to the corner because jumping out of the corner is so common that I'm more than likely just going to get jumped on. You know? Every time I get jumped on for using this button in the corner, I know I deserved it. Right? 
So I don't even use it close to the corner. So in in last season, around the end, I was like, what are they going to do? I, I wish I had a, a viable crush counter. I made like a video about it once, you know. And then they gave him this. Just minus four. The box extended past, like the, the hittable box, or so the hurt box, I guess, extended past the hit box. Or the other way around, you know, same thing, whatever. Um, similar to Colleen's in that sense, you know. Um, a little more recovery on width. Uh, it's minus four. Um, so it is punishable, it's jumpable, right? But just by virtue of, like, what it goes into, the damage you get from it, the DP punishes, it's so, so good, right? Not only that, but now, my turn isn't always over, right? I should do this too, so crouch fierce, crouch fierce. So let's see. Normally, let's see here. Record. We do stand like it, right? We know how stupid this button is, right? You know, Kuma's triple medium punch. This is one of the buttons that beats it free, or at least used to, right? So, oh wait, I should probably do this, huh? Let me turn this off. So normally, let's see. So, I get counter hit, right? I'd have to do a button like that, but the problem is, if she doesn't press, I'm whiffing now. So if she does it delayed, I'm getting beat. But look how, but this button is hitting. Hits on block as well, right? Now, I don't even have to do that string. Oops. Oh, I can't even reach. But yeah, I think I'm pressing a little weight. But yeah, this button is so good. Oh yeah, you can do this as well. So if they happen to press on minus four, you can actually confirm it. So you do this and just have Zonk charged. Zonk is so easy to confirm, right? Uh, these strings are really fucked up, because what I like to do is stuff like this. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Not that. That's like probably the easiest one, right? So if you know that they're just doing like a light buffer after they catch you kind of overstepping, then you can actually do a light buffer back, just delay it. Or you can do crouch fears, crouch fears. Maybe plus three, right? So the guessing isn't that bad. That's one of my favorites. So you're doing any plus three. You could do stand light kick, right? Stand medium kick, what have you, you know? And from a range, you do crouch here, so. Yeah, you can do the same thing with crush There's a lot of characters that will actually crush counter right there. So really good stuff. Yeah. It's just basic strings. You know, not basic, but strong bullshit strings. See? So you can pretty much... And you can actually confirm it too. Not hard to confirm. Not hard. And then you're in the face. Boom. Right? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Dead. So good stuff. You know? Uh, you can just do stuff like this. Let's see. And see, usually when you do this on an upper level player, what will they do? Walk back, press, right? So walk back, they'll do fierce press, what have you. Uh, well, what you could do is one, two, right? One, two, micro step, crouch fierce, right? One, two, micro step, crouch fierce. And this usually almost always blows up the crush counter as long as it hits them, uh, whether it be on block or hit. And the reason why is because you do not want that button to whiff because it's so easy to whiff punish. It's pretty damn easy to whiff punish. Yeah, so this button, use it. Okay, and I'm gonna go into a little bit of neutral. Okay, so we're gonna go over neutral a little bit. Um, I know what you're thinking, Cody player, neutral, the video's probably over, right? Stop watching right here, pause it. So, probably like the best quick little strategy I found with this character uh, after the new patch. Let me see, let me get rid of you, trigger. All 
Okay. So, the sway. Just like Vegas, minus six. The thing is, it's actually unpunishable. With most characters. Of course, except for Chun, for obvious reasons. Um, or if you have super with certain characters, like five frame supers. So this, look how much, look, I'm building meter, right? Unpunishable at this range. And you can actually go for a buffer right after. So you, you see what they like to press, right? Let me see if I can get her to do it. Let me see if I can get it. it looks a little hard on her. I don't know if I can get it on our light kick. Our light kick is so good. Yeah, I don't think I can get it on our light kick. Anyway, this usually works on characters, but that light kick is so busted. So it actually works on Monat's crouch jab even, and her crouch strong, which is really crazy, right? Anyway, the point is, you could be building meter like this. Basically, the strategy is, especially against projectile characters, right, is that I'm building V meter, or I'm getting a knockdown, right? So I'm using sway, right? And by virtue of me building V-Trigger so early, I built it at 85-90% before just doing this and getting a crush counter, is sometimes you can't always get the, you can't get a sense of urgency for your opponent to whip and hit buttons on you preemptively whenever they meet you in neutral. And the thing is, if you're doing something like this and getting free V-Meter, you're like, I don't want to say turning up the temperature, but you're making them want to press on you more and throw mids because they know you're doing a low V skill, right? So if you're doing a low V skill and they know the punish, which is a mid, they're gonna press, right? So what do you meet them with in neutral? Meet them with your with their crush counter, right? So you can meet them with a crush counter, right? And then comes the respect, right? So you use the V meter first, right? You're building V meter, whatever, building V meter, and you're like, wow, this is cheap. Wow, how do I beat this? I'll just start throwing mids. And then you get crush countered, boom, you're in the corner. Right, guessing game, guessing game. You knock me down once, I have V-Trigger already, right? Uh, God forbid I get it again, you know? Um, and then what else can happen, right? I can start throwing fireball. So now I'm throwing a jab, right? I'm throwing a fireball. You're getting hit because you're trying to hit my crotch fierce, right? So I might do jab, you think I whiff, I throw a fireball, I hit you. The counter, right? The counter right off the bat, the quickest counter, it's not, uh, it's pretty risky, but I mean, it's still counter, is jumping, right? Because it beats the V skill, it beats crush counter, and it beats fireball, right? But if you start jumping, instead of even using crouch fears anymore, right? Um, I switch to light buffers. If I switch to light buffers, I can still anti-air you, right? So I can still anti-air you, I'm walking forward, you're respacing all the time, right? I'm just light buffering and anti -airing. That's it. You think you're thinking I'm gonna sway, crush counter, or fireball, but I'm not doing it anymore. The truth is a lot of people actually don't even get to the jumping part. They just get crush countered and die, right? And they might jump out of the corner, right? But when they start jumping in neutral, all it tells me is that I'm just gonna start switching light buffers and start anti-airing you with fears. Really, really easy strategy for a lot of characters, especially zoners, right? So like Guile is it's decent, it's not that bad. Uh, I like to use it because it makes them tend to whiff and use back fierce, right? Um, works really, really well against the guy. Works good against the Shotos as well. Um, and it generally works against a lot of characters just by virtue of, I think it's a really strong V skill. So, I'm building V meter. I'm not gonna say for free, but I'm building V meter. And it can give you a whiff punish opportunity. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, the reason why I like the I like it the most is though, uh, it sets up the Crush Fierce, right? And people really respect it after. When people respect the Crush Counter, neutral is totally different. Totally different. I'm not used to it. You know? Not since I switched from Kuma. I'm playing this guy. But yeah, so that's generally how, uh, that's the general game plan there, right? For this particular strategy. Um, really good against projectile characters, as I said before. Um, the Sway has a lot, a lot of application, right? That's just one, one little strategy. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and keep making videos. I'm pretty lazy, so no promises, but I will keep trying to make videos. If there's requests, 100%, I'll make them, okay? But um, yeah, all right. Uh, shout outs to Espada again. 
Uh, I'm sure I'm saying your name wrong. Espada. Uh, Geek Down Beat Down. EX. Let's see. Akuma player. EX Joe. Disgusting. Akuma. That's disgusting. He asked me. I, I shouldn't have done it. Anyway, and shout outs to uh, all the Cody players. So, Alright. GG's. Later, guys.